Greetings. Today I'm talking about snare drum sounds. People have asked how I get my fat snare drum sound. So I will tell it to you today. I have recently watched some YouTube videos, instructional videos about fat snare drums. They tell you to detune some locks and some weird shit like that. I don't understand. To me they sound like So this is my version. This is also just my version, so think for yourself, please. <laughs> this is not the ultimate truth, the only truth. Okay, first things first. This is my snare. It's a 80s Tama Superstar Birch Cell snare. It's 8 inch deep, so it, it has a lot of bottom end. And I think it's quite optimal for this kind of stuff. I also have used similar 6.5 deep snares. You can use your own no matter what it is, but uh, I think this kind of snare is the best best suited for this job. Then there's the head. Today I'm using regular clear pin stripe. I think this is part of the magic that it's clear head. It gives a more brighter sound to it, more power to my ears. I also use Emperor clear and uh, controlled sound. They all work rather well. And then also this guy. Little, little moon gel stuck to it, so it won't ring so much. Another important part is the snare wires. I used Pure Sound. I don't remember what model, but anyway, when I changed changed these wires, I think the, the sound sound uh, became much better for me, much more crack. So I highly re recommend investing in some Pure Sound wires. The bottom head is just basic ambassador snare, nothing fancy here. Then there's this guy, Tama Tension Watch. This is of course not mandatory, but I use it to get the same sound every time. So I can mark it, if I get a great sound, I just mark it somewhere and I'm able to get the same sound every time. To the tuning itself, if you are using Tama Tension Watch, you can have exactly the same tuning than I have. So the top head is about 73, 74, and the bottom head is 70, so it's slightly less. And if you don't use it, well, I don't know, it's just, it's medium low, I think. Not very tight at all. So it also sacrifices some rebound. This is not a rebound monster, this is rock and roll snare. <laughs> And if you're interested to know, today I'm using a classic Shure 57, but usually I used Audix E5. I think this gives a slightly brighter sound and it's also better to have the metal enclosure, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. And the bottom head is mic with this kind of biodynamic clip-on condenser mic. This is quite handy for that. Okay, now you know my secrets. I think the most important is the snare itself, the clear thick head and the wires. You can play with the tuning but uh, you should have at least medium to low if you want this kind of this kind of sound. Until the next video.